is not acceptable. I don't like any of this. We discussed values, concepts, colors, and this is what you come up with. Do I pay you here to slack off? Listen, I want new designs on my table first thing tomorrow morning, okay? Gosh, do I have to do everything all by myself? Yes, Mr. Diola. We're currently working on the logo designs and they'll be ready by the end of day tomorrow. Yeah, as we speak, the logo designs are being worked on. Of course, Mr. Diola. We want nothing but the best. Thank you very much for your patience. Have a nice day. Thank you. Good afternoon and welcome to Goldie and Silver Agency. Um, well, with like gold and silver? Just gold and silver. Huh. Um, anyway, thank you very much for cancelling your lunch to come and you know, have this meeting. With it's okay. Here, anything for a prospective client, so it's fine. Much appreciated. Fine. Oh my God! I'm, I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm so I'm so it's sorry. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. Let's carry on. Look, How? I. Sorry. Go first, please. Um. So I'm the CEO of the Watson Hotels Group. And um, we agreed that uh, our hotels are going to need some rebranding, particularly the Lagos and Abuja branches. And uh, we decided to come to you because, you know, you are the best. Okay, um, so what kind of rebranding are we looking at? Do you want um, cosmetic change or we're looking at um, identifying new ideas? Uh, both, both. Uh, the name stays the same though. You know, um, some structural adjustments here and there, some renovations over the place, you know how it is. Okay, that's fine. Um, we're going to have to have some further talks with your general manager and your director of sales. Right, right. Uh, well, I'm off to Greece, um, so, uh, but I should be back by uh, next weekend. That's up on Monday for you. Okay, um, I'll have to refer you to the partner in charge of this. So he is good at hotel branding for further talks. Wait, another partner? Yes. <laughs> but I want you. That's not my field. Look, we're directed to you, okay? Because we wanted the best, and I only work with the best. Here at Gold and Silver, we are all the best. So best believe that whoever you're working with is best at what they're doing. But that's what I want to hear. Thank you very much for your time. That's fine. Thank you very much for coming in and have a good day, Mr. Watson. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
Good evening, sis. Good evening. How are you? I'm not fine. Sis, you cancelled our lunch date. And you didn't even have the courtesy to call me and, and, and explain things to, to me. And then you sent your, your, your useless PA. Why? I'm so sorry. I was very busy, so I had to reshadow. Can we do tomorrow or next? Don't worry, bills on me. Before, Uncle, bills are always on you. And I'm not complaining. Um, sis, mom called. She said you're not taking her calls. Why? I was busy. But you should have called her back. Gloria, I literally just got back now. You and I know this is just an excuse. Can we not just start? I'm too tired for this. Look, you can avoid this conversation as many times as you want. Let me just tell you, this your feud with mom is becoming silly. You know me, I will say it as it is. You know I will always bring it up, that's why you are avoiding me. First off, I'm your elder sister. So don't use the word silly on me. Secondly, I do not have any feud with mama. Okay, I'm sorry. I will rephrase. It is unbecoming. Nene, you need to see mom. It's been over two years since you got back from the UK. It's not fair now, eh? At least you're doing well for yourself. What happened in the past didn't stop you. I don't know what you're on about. I have a good relationship with mother. I send that money when I can. I call her when I can. What else do you want me to do? Show up for her birthday this year. Is she sick? Yes, ma. She fell sick last night, but I don't get money carry and go hospital. Vero, I paid you last week. What the hell is wrong with you? Even if you don't have money to take her to the hospital, why didn't you say something? So you're waiting for her to die before you say something? Madam, I... If you're not ready to be a parent, do not bring in kids into this world. And if you must carry on working in this house, this doesn't have to repeat itself again. Yes, ma. Take her to the hospital and send me the bills. Make sure you do not resume work until she's better. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yeah. Come on, you go. Come in. They say if Mohammed doesn't go to the mountain, the mountain will come to Mohammed. <laughs> you are so dramatic. How are you, Jo? You cancelled lunch twice. I promise. It's work. Well, I'm here now. Well, you know you should have called before coming. 
Are you hiding a man inside? <laughs> really? Hmm. Who are you calling? Mom. Why are you calling mom? What is this? Neka, you won't keep to your own end of bargain. So why won't I call her? And what bargain is that? To call mom. But I spoke with mom. Ten seconds. And then you told her you were busy and you were going to call her back and you never did. Hello mom, good evening. I've been wanting to ask you this question for the past two years. Do you really hate mom that much? Do you? I don't hate mom. I just don't have the kind of relationship that you two have. You're not even trying. Mom is hurting. And you don't care. So you go about how, how you send her money regularly. She doesn't need your money. She needs a daughter. Don't raise your voice at me. You don't even know half of this. I know half of it, Neka. It's been 23 years. Grow up! Look, if anything happens to mom because of you, I will not forgive you. Mike, didn't you tell him that Kenneth is in charge of this project? Please direct him to Kenneth. Tell him I'm in a meeting. Is my company so inconsequential that you had to give my projects to, to, to a, a junior staff? I'm so sorry. Good morning, Mr. Watson. Thank you very much for coming in so gently. I apologize for any form of miscommunication. I've already told you that Kenneth is in charge of this project. And he is not a junior staff, he's a partner. You are going to reconsider. You assumed. Mr. Neka, I already told you that I only work with the best. Kenneth is one of the best that we have in this company. And I promise I'm giving you the best. Kenneth specializes on corporate branding, especially hotel rebranding. So he is the best for this job. Look, I came to you because um, you came highly recommended. If you're not going to be able to make time to do my project, then maybe I should take my business elsewhere. Okay, then. We'll probably work some other time in the future when our interests align better. <laughs> Look, if this is about the last time, then I apologize. Okay, I, like I said, I only came here because you, you're highly recommended and I trust only you to do my business well. I feel like my company is in safe hands if it's with you. So, would you please reconsider? I have a lot on my desk. I'll wait. And... I'll wait. Okay, I'll move things around. Thank you. He is so full of himself, arrogant, and he has an overbloated ego. You know you're just throwing synonyms around, right? As long as you understand what I'm saying. Okay. You can't really blame this guy. It's not like he knew and he just intentionally pulled the finger. Look, he held on to my finger for such a long time. And 
That was very unprofessional. And he walks into the office acting as if he owns the whole place. Okay. Obviously, he likes you. And um, you have been knocked out of reality so badly that you cannot tell when a man is flirting with you. My dear, no. He's just my client. Are there rules that you cannot date your client? That is very unprofessional. Ha. Huh. Do you like him? No. Is he a good looking man? Mm. I guess so. You like him. <laughs> that is why you were just overly defensive and angry on the I, on the phone. I thought some clients beat you up. My dear, stop saying something like that. That guy, he's not even my spec. Mm -mm. <laughs> you have a spec? Ne oh no. Nick, you have a spec? You? <laughs> Back in uni, you did not have a spec. Now, this Henry guy is ticking you off. You're beginning to have a spec. <laughs> Girl, listen, you like him. <laughs> Please, can we change the topic? Okay. We will change the topic. So, are you going to introduce me to him? I'm not introducing you to my client. Oh, don't be stingy. You, you are looking for money. I'm looking for man. You know, it's just I just think it's just introduce me to him while you're working with him. So it's a win-win situation. You see, I'm looking at you. You're so shameless. Huh? You have three different boyfriends, and you want to add another one on top. It will not hurt anybody if I have four boyfriends, honey. I'm not gonna put all my eggs in one basket. Anybody will propose to me first. I'll be dropping the rest, babe. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not letting you close to my client. <laughs> some have clients and some have spec. You have clients where are <laughs> they? I <laughs> give me no, spec. spec. <laughs> Come on, girl. What did they do you? You say you don't like the guy now. Yeah, um, so we are suggesting a rebrand of some structural changes. Um, in like the pool, um, the restaurant, and more of like a family-oriented environment because that's what we're trying to encourage and that's what we're looking at creating. What are you doing? Oh, I'm um, uh, taking us out for lunch. <sighs> taking us out for lunch. We have so much to go through, and you're talking about lunch. I don't miss lunch. Well, I'm not hungry. Go ahead. <laughs> so, you're not even going to, I don't know, share the courtesy of your presence with your client? My job description does not entail going to lunch with you. Not even to thank me or for me to thank you? No, that's not necessary. Are you going to take that? No. Are you sure you don't want to come out to lunch? I mean, you can take whatever work it is that you're doing that you know, needs to be done. You can finish it up over there. I'm fine. Look, are you sure that you don't want to take this phone call? Are you sure it's important? I guess I have to now. Please, excuse me. Gloria, I'm in a meeting. What is it? Sis, you have to pick mom at the airport. Why? What? Because she's stranded at the airport. Why is she stranded? Why are you not picking her up? Look, mom is sick, so I got her an appointment to see the cardiologist at the National Hospital. And you're just telling me? That's because Obina and I had an emergency. 
emergency trip to Ghana last night. Hello, Ma. Neka, I've been calling you. Ma, I'm in a meeting. I was sent someone to come pick you up at the airport. Thank you very much. I want to see you soon. Everything okay? How about that lunch? But we're eating in. Okay. I'll have the love fries and beef. And what would you have? Oh, uh, same. Okay. Okay, um, tell Shadrach to pick my mom up from the airport. Okay. You know what? Um, hurry, hurry. Come back and you're gonna go with him to the airport. Okay. Hiring. Well, you can't because he owns the kitchen. No. No. I'll buy the kitchen and then hire him. I doubt he will sell. Mecca, everyone has a price, okay? Everyone. About the Enugu Hotel. Okay. You seem quite protective of this, your chef. He's my friend and a client. And that's interesting. You don't come across as a person who keeps friends. Why do you say that? Because you seem like the like kind of person who has a lot of rules that she lives by. Please, don't psychoanalyze me. I'm not. I'm just making observation and the conversation with you. No, we're not. I'm so sorry I kept you waiting. Ademo. Hey. I can't, I can't believe I can finally set my two eyes on you again. I prayed to God for this day since you went to the UK. I asked God to keep death away from me till I can see my child again. It's okay, ma. How was the flight? It was fine, no? <laughs> the, there was a little turbulence and I held my heart in my hand like this. <laughs> but God is faithful. I'm glad you're okay. Uh, uh, your place is so beautiful. You've done so well for yourself, Nne. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. I am sorry to show up unannounced like this. It's uh, just that I didn't expect Gloria and her husband to travel so suddenly. It's okay. So, how long do you intend to stay? Uh, well, I won't be sure till I see my doctors, but I'm sure it's just a few weeks. Okay. Let me just show you to your room. Um, I leave for work 7 a.m. and the earliest I, I come back is 7 p.m. Is that not too much suffering? No, it's not. So the housekeeper comes in here three times in a week to cook and do all the necessary stuff. But if you need me to bring her in, like every day. That's not necessary. I'm not bedridden. Okay. So I'll give you the key later. And please don't leave it on the door because the housekeeper has her own keys. No problem. So good night, Mom. If you need anything, just let me know.
want breakfast. You should have asked first. But you love breakfast. You never miss it. Ma'am, that was 11 years ago. 11 years? Look, Mom, you shouldn't have bothered. I don't want breakfast. But it's... I... I'm your mother. I love to cook for you. It's the joy of every woman to take care of her child. And I'm telling you, you don't have to. But I want to. Mom, look, I have to go. I'm running late. Morning, ma'am. It is so nice to finally meet you. No, the pleasure is all mine. Call me Neka. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be working here. I'm so happy to be here. Well, I'm really happy to have you here at Golden Civil Agency. Your expertise is so good, and thank you for choosing us. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure the office, yeah? Yeah, sure. And it's really beautiful. Okay, okay. I'll see you at the meeting in an hour, okay? Sure, sure. All right. Why do you lock the door when you stay alone? No, it's just a habit. Okay. I came to find out what soup I should make for you. I don't want you stressing yourself. I'm okay. No, it's not stress. I, I came prepared. Though. I, mean, I know this people's markets here, you won't have fresh Eastern ingredients. So I came ready. I brought a uh, Ugirinsuka, Unubumbo, Gary Oberi, Aku. Okwa. I brought everything. <laughs> oh, what do you need all that for? To cook, of course. What will you eat? I don't want anything. I'm fine. But you need to eat. I said, don't worry. Uh, I'm sorry for disturbing. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Adam. You have a doctor's appointment today. You could get your bag, I'll drop you off, and I'll have the driver pick you up. Oh, don't worry yourself. Uh, I'll go by myself. I just came to bring you this food. Mama, what do you mean by don't worry? Go get your bag, I'll drop you off. No, the appointment is by 12 p.m. And Gloria already said she'll send her driver for me. Mm, I see. Okay then, I'll be on my way. Uh, what of the food?
about today or something? No, I'm fine. Still, you've been working really hard. Huh? You have. I think we should just wrap it up for today and just go out and maybe chill or something. Look, I don't mix business with pleasure. Nobody said anything about pleasure. I was talking about taking a break. Still, I don't want a break. Thank you. So damn stubborn. I'm stubborn just because I don't bow to every of your whims. Well, there's that. There's also the fact that people hardly ever say no to me, and yet you've managed to do it multiple times today. I see. I like it. <laughs> do you mind if I ask you a question? Is it work related? No, I certainly hope so. Okay. What happened to your finger, if you don't mind me asking? So this is a work related. What are you cooking? It smells really bad. You're welcome. Good evening, Ma. How was your day? Fine. I'm making your favorite ufaku with rishi rishi. <laughs> you didn't have to. I already ate. Well, you can eat it tomorrow then. How was your doctor's appointment? I wasn't able to see the specialist though. They said uh, he was in emergency surgery all day and they rescheduled me for next week. Next week? Then you should be resting. Why are you cooking? You know me, I, I enjoy cooking. It's what relaxes me. It's what I do best. Well, next time you're cooking, just close the kitchen door because the whole place smells like death. Show. I know business is going I well. I can see some new, new things here. <laughs> mm. Which hey. one are you touching me now? My dear. Every time I'm ah, buying, would buying, you patronize buying. your friend? Yeah? Would you patronize Isn't me? All the time I patronize you, <laughs> you this girl. Give me like my this darling. one. I like this one. Can't you see? Okay, huh? okay. This I'll one, give you something this later. This one will match me now. When you buy, I'll give you extra. Mm. How is your mom anyway? <sighs> my mom. That woman, she's just everywhere. Huh? She's encroaching on my entire space. She's too active for someone that says she's sick. Or... Old people should be less active now. Abby? Your mother is not that old. I'm so stressed out. You don't even know half of it. After dealing with that obnoxious Henry, and I come back home, she's just all over the place. Do you know what? Hmm. I'm coming to stay with you for a while. Mm -mm. That's extreme, Neka. You cannot abandon your sick mother. How about you have a conversation with her about how you feel and what all the things that you went through. I, I think you need to speak to her about it. You know? How are your numerous boyfriends now? Hmm. Smooth. You know how to, how to meander from conversation. Anyway, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wanted to say something more serious, but since you want to know about my man, mm -hmm. I'll talk about my man. Okay. All right, update. Mm -hmm. First one is getting boring now. The second one, still full of himself, but I still like him. Ah, the confidence in that man. You need to see the way he carries himself. 
Very annoying, but I like it. But the one with the boss my head, mm -hmm. with the scatter on my dad, yeah. where they give me butterfly. As usual. Mm. The interior deco guy. Okay. Honey, that guy, he treats me like I'm a delicate fabric. I like it. Okay. So, I might be replacing the first one. And that takes me to, I have my eyes on your billionaire boyfriend. <laughs> and I thought you had something serious to say. That boy is not my boyfriend though. Ah, keep lying to yourself and not me. <laughs> okay, okay. You win. You can have him. Mm. Like you actually introduced me to him. Hi. Oh. I said he's all yours. Take. Really? Mm. Ah! I hope I, I hope you're not joking. Uh, uh, do I sound like I'm joking? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh. I don't know because you change your mind <laughs> like a girl. <laughs> change his clothes. You can anyway, never change. I cannot change. So mm -hmm. tell me, what car does he drive? Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Come on now, chill. Mom. Ah. What are you doing? You're jogging today. What are you doing with my clothes? Oh, I saw a pile of them and I decided to help you wash them. Mom, I don't need your help. Besides, I have a dry cleaner. Have a friend. The second time you're saying this. Well, you are very protective of uh, the chef, and now you're going for a drink. I think I'm beginning to understand the kind of person you are. Why do you say that? Quite, quite rigid, is what I'm saying. No, I'm not. I'm oh, sorry, but that's the vibe you give. <laughs> well, I have fun. I do. Really? And what constitutes this fun that you speak of? I go for a run, I drink wine, and I hang out with my friends as well. Really? I really don't owe you any explanation. You know what, why don't, why don't I come along with you? Okay. Good, good. Uh, after you, my lady? I am not your lady. <laughs> A best friend. Well, nice to meet you, best friend. Nice to meet you. I've, I've heard a lot of things about you. Yeah. Well, I hope you're all good things. Well, you know where I'm getting the gist from. <laughs> oh, well, I, I can imagine how that can be. Mm. Mm. Anyway, um, uh, wait up. Good day, sir. How may I be of service to you? Uh, good evening to you. Uh, can we get a bottle of red wine, please? Okay, sir. I don't drink on the clock. Wow. You may be thinking you were a bond person. Um, Perry, I believe we need that bottle of red wine. You, I like. <laughs> you, I like. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, honestly, I, it's such a pleasure to meet you. Honestly, I was surprised when she told me she had a friend. I can totally understand why you think that. Just shut up a big mouth. <laughs> Alright. Um, anyway, um, can you please tell me how both of you met? I'm okay, curious. okay. How did it tell it? So, I met her back in uni okay. in the UK. Okay. And we were two young, naive Nigerian girls. Oh. In another man's land. <laughs> it was crazy. We met, we clicked, and we were friends inside. 
Um, um, and this has been like how many years now? Um, how many years? About eleven years. Wow. Yeah. That's, eleven. That's a long friendship. Thank you. <laughs> You're such a gentle man. And you, you are an amazing woman. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go now. I need to check up on my mom. Yeah. Well, what happens? Anything wrong? Why shouldn't it be? He's just asking. I'll call you later, please. It was nice to meet you, though. Same. We'll definitely see you again. We should. We'll see you again. <laughs> yes, we should. We should. I don't know what is wrong with her. Ah, you are back. How was work? Fine. Good evening, Mom. Good evening. Uh, please, can I have a word with you? Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. I just want us to, to talk about us. Mom, I'm really tired. Can we talk about this some other time? But we haven't had a chance to talk. We... Mom, please, can you let me be anytime I come back from work, okay? Good night. sister hates me so much. The child I carried in my womb for nine months. I almost died trying to bring her into this world. She doesn't hate you, Mom. Just give her time. You know you two grow apart. This is more than growing apart, oh. Mom, all I'm trying to say is that she needs a little more time. Time? It's been 11 years. More time. She learned how to be hard hearted from your father's people. I'm so sorry, mommy. Everything is going to be fine, okay? Just try and get some rest. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. All right. Bye. <laughs>
was that nice young man I met in your office? He seems to really like you. And you deduced that in just five minutes of being with him? I know such things now. Eh? Don't think because I'm getting old, I don't recognize green lights when I see them going off. <laughs> okay. Mom. I do not appreciate you coming into my office unannounced and embarrassing one of my biggest clients. I don't think the young man had any problem with me being there. Of course. He is not the one who has a problem with you. I am. Oh. You can't just badge into my life and turn everything upside down. All I did was bring you food. Mom, I don't want your food. I just want you to stay out of my life. Don't you dare speak to me in that manner. It's your maybe again. you can go. What a mother you've been. <laughs> Violence. Classic of you and that. <laughs> God bless his soul. So you can strike me. But you couldn't fight a man who beat you down every day of your life. And I speak the truth. And you find the courage to slap me, mom. And I will slap you. Till I slap the devil that has possessed you for years out of you. I am not possessed. I am damaged. I was damaged by you. Dad. And your neglect. I did my best for you, you ungrateful child. You did your best. Yet, I lost a finger. Look at it. I get to live with this. Because you and dad were not ready to have kids yet. You had them anyways. Just because you couldn't zip it up. Get over yourself, dear child. Because you were not the one who was bullied for so many years. Primary school. Secondary school, even the university. I was four fingers. That was my nickname, Mom. And I hated myself so much. And you caused it, Mom. been 23 years for you but for me it's every day of my life and just seeing you it looks like yesterday this is the reason I stayed away for 11 years this is the reason I do not want you to be here. All these years, Neka, why did you say anything? Oh, now, we're gonna play pretend. Okay, Mom. Let me indulge you. Do you remember the night of my junior Wayak finals?
I have done? Protected me. Because you were my mother. I was a victim too. And a lot of the beatings I got, I got them because of you. It's not a competition of who got it worse. You were my mother and I was the child. You could have protected your child. No. It's not a competition. Mecca, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything you went through, Mecca. I'm sorry. You know what, Mom? I can call you Mom for all I care. But deep down, Chested man a bit too much. It speaks to the demography we are appealing to. Okay then. Um, let's have the mock images and then we'll take it off from there. Okay. Jenny, do you mind if I ask you a question? As long as it has nothing to do with my body count. That's the reaction I was expecting. Okay, shoot. How did this happen? I mean, were you born this way? No. It was an accident. My boyfriend was drunk. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. And your boyfriend? He survived without a scratch. He left me in the hospital where I was still struggling for my life. Oh no. It's okay. I've forgiven him. You did? Yes. He apologized and I forgave him. So you guys are back together? No. 
I forgave him for me, whether he meant the apology or not. I just knew it was time to let go. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> Nenka, I know this may sound cheesy or even hypocritical, but all the broken parts heal. Maybe not on the outside, but here. But it starts with forgiveness and self-acceptance.
they said it's not up to 48 hours, so there's nothing they can do at the moment. Yeah, but have you called the house? Maybe she took the bus. I did, and they said she's not there either. I'm sorry. Come, don't worry, we'll find her. We'll find her. Maybe, maybe she just wants to take a break. It's my fault. I was very mean to her. I don't know. What kind of person am I? A hurting person? You, honey, you have bottled up so much for so long. I was, I'm surprised that you didn't even explode sooner. Such a terrible daughter. And you, my <laughs> darling, you are a work in progress, okay? I'm such a terrible daughter. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> you find me. It's okay. It's okay. Mom, mom, where are you? Oh, okay, I'm back on the street. Okay, okay, okay. Let's what did she say? She said she's on the back on the street. Okay, let's go. What are you still here for? Where's my bag? I don't know what I would have done if I lost you. Don't lie. This is holy ground. Not lies, Mom. I said so many things I didn't mean to you meant them. And it's okay that you unburdened your heart. You know, I could have handled all of this better. You know, I did leave your father once. You were three, and I was pregnant with your sister. So, why did you go back? He refused to pay my hospital bills, unless I returned home. I didn't have a choice. I had no job, no money. It was after I had your sister I started the food business. Then why did you not leave after then? Your father changed. He became a better person. Until he lost his job. While he was financially down, I couldn't, I couldn't just get up and leave. People would have thought I was the cause of his problems. Times were different then. I would have been ostracized by both friends and family. Your daughter almost died. He let my finger decay from the inside out. I should have paid better attention. But I was, I was a breadwinner, raising a husband and two daughters. But I could have I could have done more as a mother. I failed. And I'm sorry you had to bear this burden all these years. You know, after that incident that night, I just couldn't trust you anymore. Even after that died, I still could not trust you. So I just internalized everything. And you ran away from me. Yes. I prayed. I prayed every day. All the years you were away. I prayed to God to let me see. 
Let me use these two eyes and see my first daughter again before death takes me away. It's nearly 24 hours that I lost you. And I was already going crazy. I could only imagine all the things you went through all of these years, Mom. Mom, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Mama, Mama, Mama. I don't know why I should be the one that I'm rejoicing. All the trauma your father and I put you through. No. I am sorry. Mom, I've forgiven you. And I love you so much. I love you too, Adam. I told you this was enough. Hmm? Nah. You need to get some more flesh on your bones. You need to eat more. Hmm? Just so that um, your George will sit nicely on your hips <laughs> on your traditional wedding day. <laughs> Mom, what wedding? The wedding to that handsome young man I saw in your office now. That nice boy. Oh. You think I don't know you like him? <laughs> Mom. You can't pretend with me. I mean. Stop, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mom. Hey, Harry. You should find an office here, right? Ha ha ha! I see someone is in for jokes. Yes. You know you don't need any excuse to come in here. Ah, uh, I don't. However, I have the mission. You do? Yes, I do. And she's sitting right in front of me right now. Please. Come on. Don't act like you don't know that I like you. What are you to do and just flirting with my friend the other day? Just to make you jealous. It didn't work. It worked. What do you mean? Aren't you giving me attention right now? Aren't you indulging me right now? You're so full of yourself. <laughs> Have dinner with me today. Okay. Really? No fights, no quarrel, no argument, nothing? Do you want me to change my mind? No. No. I would, uh, I'll pick you up at seven. But you don't even know where I live. Are you sure? Hmm? Text me your address, Joe. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Please have a seat. She'll soon be down. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, so, where are you from? Uh, Bielsa State, ma'am. Ijaw, to be precise. Oh, 
Oh. But my mom is Igbo. That's nice. Yes. Uh, what do you do for a living? I, uh, <laughs> I own a group of hotels and a bunch of other businesses here. Oh, that's very nice. I used to run four restaurants in Anambra State. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yes. <laughs> so, why is a handsome, successful young man like you not married yet? Uh, I guess because I've not found my person. Mm. I think you've come to your last bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> mm. But if you hurt my daughter, do we understand each other? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Very good. This night, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe you're enjoying local food like this. Silver spoons. <laughs> I love my lucky delicacies. You know, who, who lived for 11 years in the UK? You know, I went to the UK on scholarship. So, it's not like my parents were billionaires, like some people sitting down here. <laughs> That's fine. Thank you. For saving your life. Hmm? You're welcome. <laughs> you know, honestly, I'm much more fun when your walls are down. Hmm. You don't want to know how many times these walls have saved my dear life. In that case, I'm glad that I like you when your walls are up or when they're down, either way. <laughs> You do? Of course I do. Well, you don't believe me? Um, are you just curious about my finger? Oh, no, Mecca, please. I, I don't want no pressure, no hustle, whatever. No, you have to talk about it if you don't. Want. You know, when I was about six years old, my parents found out um, I had a disease called clinodactyly. And they had to take me to the hospital and it was operated on his finger. For some reason, best known to my parents, they forgot to take me back to the hospital so that the wound would be checked. And eventually it got infected. The only way to salvage my finger was amputation. And that was all it did, and look, that's what I've got here. I'm so sorry, Mecca. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Um, um I guess I'm over it. I guess I'm over it, to be honest. No, in that case, let me say thank you for being honest with me and opening up to me. And uh, I'd like to celebrate this new phase of our friendship. It's okay. We should be doing this with a glass of wine. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
Um, I don't remember that story. It wasn't always bad. Do you remember your school into house sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you were the champion three consecutive times, yeah? I had to show them that I'm a go wine. <laughs> 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 Excuse me, Mom. I need to take this. Love wanted to. Mm. Hey, you. Okay. Lunch. That's fine. Okay, bye. Wow. <laughs> I don't love <know. laughs> you. All done. Thank you. How much are you? Okay. My girl has got her. I knew you've always liked that man. You are just busy for me. For me. Me, man. My girl, you got yourself a billionaire zaddy. Can you stop? Ah, girl, you're looking fabulous. So go and bring that bag home. <laughs> it's not about the money. It has got to be raining Naira in here. Come on. Come on. Please be serious. I'm going to be late for lunch. All right, let me be serious. I know. You know you like money. How much is this one? No, this is on the house. Huh? Yeah. On the house. Is it this me? Are you sure? So easy. Okay. Into your life before the billionaire boyfriend marries you. And don't say I didn't do anything solid for you when I start asking for exorbitant money. You know you're crazy. Hmm? But I love you. I'll see you. <laughs> I love you too. I'll Enjoy. see you later. Okay? Enjoy your lunch. All right. Miracle. Hi sis, um, you know I actually called back last night, Obina is still there, I, I wanted to just take a quick rest before I called you. So, are you pregnant now? Pregnant? I thought you and Obina were trying. Oh yes, you, we are actually, um, you know, we, we just... You didn't go anywhere, did you? All of this was just a ploy. Yes. So when she went missing, was she with you? Yes, but... I, I, so all the times you were giving me hell, she was right there with you? Oh, come on, Neka. I only wanted you both to... to... to to make up for the old times. I really wanted you both to, to work things out. I, 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 a relationship based on lies. Do you know what? Just come and get her out of my house. Do you hear me? I'm so sorry, Henry. I'll call you back later. Why? What went wrong? I found your older daughter. Nada, you need to understand. I don't want to hear. I can't have a relationship based off on lies. was the only way you would let me see you. Obviously, that was for a good reason. So, after everything we talked about, you still can't trust me. You know what? I can't have any relationship with you. You can go to your daughter's house. 
Don't blame your sister. This was my plan, not hers. Can you come over? No. Neka, don't worry yourself. Everything will be fine, I promise you, huh? They lied to me for three weeks. How could they? You can't fix a bad relationship based off on lies. True. However, you and I know that this world is not necessarily white and black like that, or white or black. Eh? How do you mean by that? Well, Neha, yes, they lied. But it came from a place of concern. Nothing justifies this act. Okay, now you're sounding emotional. Wait, are you on my side or are you on theirs? I'm on nobody's side. Look, <clears throat> Your mom made a mistake. But like I said earlier, all of it is from a place of concern, from a place of love. Surely you can't judge her for that now. Eh? Do not tell me how to process my feelings. Okay, now you sound like somebody who just wants to quarrel with somebody or something, who's just angry at the world. Okay, that's enough. I need you to leave. Why? Because I'm not blindly supporting you? I should never have invited you over here. Okay. But Neka, understand this. You are beautiful. You are loved. And you are much more than your finger. The world, your world, doesn't revolve around your finger. Okay? And also, you're running away from the truth. It's only the truth that can set you free. Just go on with you're not my therapist. What? Um, uh, the Watson team is here. Um, uh, is Henry there? No. Get Kenneth to run interference. I'm going home. It's just 12 p.m. Who asked you?
girl. Is firing very part of your mourning process too? I'm not mourning. <laughs> Have you seen yourself? You might as well be the cops. <laughs> very funny. I'm serious not. It's obvious you're missing your family and that fine ass man. But you would rather sit here soaking and eating beans. I'm fine. Are you? Because I heard you've been missing work too. I said I'm fine. Okay. I'll be on my way. Come on, Oma. See, you don't need me. And you don't need anybody else. Don't say that. Look. Look around you. You are alone. You're not alone because you can't help it, but because you are stubborn and you're selfish while at it. I am not selfish. Neka, you are. Because you only think about yourself. And all you care about is how you feel and what you feel. And then you expect everybody else to respect how you feel. Girl, I know you've been through trauma, but that doesn't give you an excuse to be a terrible person. I am not a terrible person. Mm. Well, do you know that your sister is pregnant? Your mother lives in two days and I got engaged. What? Exactly my point. Nika, people are flawed. And looking at you, you're not anywhere near perfect. So you should learn to cut people some slack. Forgive, let go, and then stop chasing people that love you away. You got engaged. Yeah, two days ago, but I couldn't tell you because you were mourning. I'm so sorry. This is huge. So, who is this one? Um, the interior deco guy. You mean the, the delicate fabric guy? Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy for you, Oma. And I'm very sorry that I wasn't there for you. It's okay. I may have forgiven you, but there are people that need this, your apology. My sister is pregnant. How did you know? She had an announcement party yesterday. And I didn't get invited. Exactly my point. <laughs> I have to go now. Did you finish that possible yourself? Hi. Wow. The prodigal daughter returns. What are you doing here? Please forgive me, Mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so
someone reminded me today of how selfish I've been. And I tried to argue it, but I couldn't. I'm so flawed that I don't even get to be the judge and the jury. I haven't treated you guys well. Mom, I understand all the sacrifices that you have made all these years. And I'm sorry. I wish you didn't have to lie. But it was partly my fault. Now and I feel so ashamed for asking you to leave my house. I'm sorry, Mom. It's okay. I forgave you long before you forgave yourself. You did? That was easy. There is a saying that you do not throw the baby out with the bathwater. There is a billionaire in the picture. <laughs> Please, me, I just want Ashwe Bio. And I need to know the color of the thing as well. Okay. How about okra green and that tarot the red? <laughs> <laughs> this is good enough. Green. <laughs> this wedding planners will kill so <laughs> You're coming. You will parcel a husband to me from your husband manufacturing factory. <laughs> no! I'll cook and give you my husband. <laughs> <laughs> So, is this uh, the reason why the phrase what goes around comes around is created? I suppose so. To what do I owe the pleasure of this visit, Mecca? You haven't been taking my calls. With good reason. Okay. Can that reason change now that I've come back with my tail in between my legs? Depends. Why are you here? Mm -hmm. Now you want me to grovel, yeah? Okay, Harry. I'm so sorry for the way I treated you, okay? You were only trying to help. Yes. I should never have treated you the way I did. Yes, I was only trying to help. Is that all? Yes. Wait, so you came all the way to this place just to tell me that you were sorry when you could have called me by the phone and told me? Come on, you weren't picking my calls. Well, you could have sent me a text message. So what's the fun in that? Woman, speak your mind. You are so full of yourself. With good reason. You too, you're full of yourself. I mean, look at you, a beautiful black woman feminist. Mm-mm. Womanist. There's a difference. And a woman is does not to speak her mind. Now you're betting me, right? All right. Mr. Henry Watson, would you do me the honor of taking you out for lunch? That's if you're still single. 